Well, I think innovation is a broad term, uh, and let me be specific in terms of the U.S., uh, and then potentially in a broader context. In the U.S., uh, we have an opportunity to embrace precision agriculture, an opportunity to understand the characteristics of every acre of uh, crop production land in the country and making sure that we tailor our inputs and our focus uh, and our efforts uh, to meet the demands and needs of that particular acre. The more precise we are with inputs, uh, the more precise we are with that information, the more productive we will be. Uh, we'll be able to produce more with less, uh, less chemicals, uh, less inputs, uh, less expense to the farmer, uh, less water uh, in scarce water resource uh, constrained areas, all of which will add uh, to our ability to increase productivity, make agriculture more resilient, and also reduce emissions. Uh, certainly, the, to the extent that we use uh, innovation and technology, we can create new seed technologies that will allow us to grow more in a shorter time. Uh, seed technologies that will allow us to respond to drought conditions or intense heat uh, conditions. Uh, the opportunity for us to, to use uh, technology uh, to forecast more effectively so farmers can make more informed decisions. All of that is designed to increase productivity and allow us to reduce emissions globally. It depends on the level uh, of sophistication in agriculture, but every country can improve its efficiency. Every country can use conventional methods to produce more. And as we learn more about uh, water usage, irrigation, livestock raising, all of that can go into uh, a global effort at increasing productivity, making agriculture more resilient, and reducing emissions, which is the sort of the, the, the frame in which the Global Smart Alliance, uh, Agricultural Alliance is formed. Uh, it's designed to allow a sharing of information and technology between countries uh, that can then be used by each country as they deem fit uh, to make their agriculture more productive, more resilient, and to reduce emissions related to agriculture.